Good morning everybody, welcome back to City Sewers. So I've got a big full day today. Uh, I still haven't milked yet. I just recently got home from taking the kids to school because things are now crazier in the morning. So I haven't, I've been milking a little later than I used to. Uh, but, so now I'm gonna milk, but something happened late last night that I wanted to tell you guys about first and kind of maybe ask some advice. So late last night, and by late I mean like after midnight, it was very late, um, I was doing laundry and I was moving, uh, let's see, I was emptying the dryer because I had tumbled some stuff and I wanted to get it folded before it got wrinkled. So that's why I was up that late. I was like, oh, well, I've gotta, gotta get this laundry done. So unloading the dryer and I hear a rustling on the floor next to me. Now, the rabbit cages are really close to the dryer. So it's like, when you're bent over, it's like your head is kind of parallel to the rabbit rack that ha that houses um, Guinevere with her babies. Which, it's like rustling noises is totally normal because I have rabbits there. But rustling noises on the floor, not normal. So I turn my head there's a rabbit on the floor. Oh my gosh. But this is not one of my rabbits. <laughs> At first I thought it was an escaped rabbit, but then, I mean, very quickly discovered that it was not one of my rabbits. So we have a little rabbit here that broke in. So David and I got up at like 12.30 at night and uh, caught this rabbit in our garage. <laughs> now he was in the garage because I had the door open. Um, I let the back door be open to let the cool air come in and cool the garage down to help the rabbits be more comfortable. I did not anticipate it inviting a strange rabbit in. <laughs> so um, I'm not sure what breed he is. I mean, I think it's a he. I haven't sexed it. Um, I haven't actually touched this rabbit yet with my hands. We trapped him in a hamper and moved him into here. Um, I think it's a male just based on the width of the jaws and the lack of a dewlap. But because it's a different breed, who knows? I will eventually sex him. But I'm pretty sure it's a boy at this point. Um, it has normal rabbit hair. It, it doesn't have Rex fur, so it's definitely a different breed. And his composi body composition is a little bit different. He's got shorter ears and a squattier face. But he seems friendly. I mean, he, um, he was totally comfortable with people being near him last night. He just didn't want us to touch him, to pick him up or whatever. So, but that's totally normal rabbit behavior. Like, if they don't trust you, then they're not going to let you touch them. But he was not afraid of us. So I'm not sure if he's escaped or if he's dumped. But I don't know what to do with him. <laughs> so yeah, living in the city, you don't really expect to find things like stray rabbits coming into your garage, but it happens. Um, so now we have this rabbit that we don't know what to do with. Um, we don't have an extra rabbit cage, so he's currently in our uh, kennel that we transport the goats in. Um, and I'm keeping him well away from my rabbits because of biosecurity reasons, quarantining, all that stuff. Um, he will have to move from this exact spot because it's eventually going to be in full sun and I don't want him to cook. Uh, today's not going to be like a hot day, but it is a metal cage, and so I don't want him to get too hot. Um, so I'm going to move him in a little bit, but a rabbit that I don't know what to do with. I currently have 23 other rabbits in my garage, so I don't know what to do with him. Um, We've made some posts about finding him on a couple of um, local resources saying, hey, found this rabbit. But there's a little part of me, actually there's a big part of me that thinks he was probably dumped because we do frequently get stray cats. Well, not stray, dumped cats. We do frequently get dumped cats. 
rats around here. So it would not, I would not put it past someone to dump a rabbit. But he's pretty. Uh, here you can see he's facing away from me now. I'm not sure how well you guys can see it, but he's not solid white. You can see he's got some gray on his ears and he's got some pale spotting on his back end. It's like a fawn colored brown and a light colored gray in these little spots and streaks on him. So he's a very pretty rabbit. He's not white and he does not have red eyes. So he's, he's a good looking bunny. But what I suspect is that it's probably a young rabbit and I'm guessing that somebody probably got him as an Easter present and discovered that rabbits, like any other animal, do have needs and requirements. And as it got bigger, they decided they didn't want a rabbit. I don't know. But yeah, so he's been on his own for a little bit because we actually found when David was making a post about finding this rabbit, he found another post of the same rabbit that someone um, had posted saying that they had seen him in their yard. They took a picture of him out in their yard. They didn't catch him. But so he's been in our neighborhood for a little bit. I'm impressed that he's made it without, you know, getting attacked by dogs or anything like that. But he's, uh, I have a stray bunny. I'm calling him Ranger. Because, I mean, he was roaming around and he's alone, so he's the lone ranger. But yeah, weird. So, I don't know what, what we should do if nobody ends up claiming this guy. He seems like a friendly rabbit. I'm not... We're, we're both pretty leery of each other still. I'm not trustful of him and he's, he comes up to the door and so he's, he's curious and he's friendly it seems like. I think he just doesn't trust us at this point, but I don't know what to do. If we should ultimately end up rehoming him or, I mean, Caleb's already been asking about keeping him, but we don't have rabbits in the house and I don't really have anywhere to put a non-breeder rabbit for my program. So we've got to discuss what we're going to do. But I would love to get your guys' input and feedback on, hey, what should we do with this rabbit? Should we build him a cage and hang on to him for a while? Should we rehome him right away? I don't know. He seems healthy, but time will tell. But he's not coughing. His eyes aren't runny or goopy or anything like that. So he seems pretty healthy. And he's very calm. So that's good. He's not stressed. But anyway, onward to milking and all the other things I have to do. All right, so indoor bunnies have now been cared for. Bins emptied and cleaned out and all that. Rabbit hair in my eye. All right. We have other rabbit updates because last y'all knew we had baby rabbits born. So the baby rabbits are now 11 and 12 days old. Now Guinevere did unfortunately lose 
one baby two days after giving birth there was something wrong with it um it wasn't due to a lack of care because we actually made sure that it got nursed we had actually forced nursed it the night before just making sure that it was okay um it was a little bit smaller but it wasn't super renty but when we found it the next day it was um really bloated so something had gone wrong internally there were no injuries on it it just you know things happen nature th some animals just don't make it and so Guinevere is now raising eight babies and Nimue still has all nine of her babies and Nimue actually had the super teeny tiny runt and it's still doing okay we named it squeaker we named it squeaker because it's just a little pip squeak and uh but it's pulling through and we actually have not had to force nurse anybody now for a little bit of time but if you guys want to take a look we actually have had babies opening their eyes but i think they're sleeping right now but here check it out hello mom just hanging out enjoying the water excuse me just gonna slip on by there's one of yours babies so she has five babies in this litter that are caster which is her color so they're gonna look just like her and excuse me hi mom and then she has two that are opal which is where they're like a blue color with a tan on the bottom and she has one that is a broken black so it's black and white the one baby that didn't make it was also a uh, broken colored one so unfortunately that's just how it goes sometimes but she's got eight healthy babies they're all sleeping okay Nimue is a bit more attentive so we'll see if she'll let me put the camera in here hi Nimue hi darling I know I know you're more jumpy hi are you gonna let me in thank you okay so here's her babies they're considerably bigger I think part of it is that she just has not struggled to feed this litter so I think in general they're all just getting a little bit more milk but they're all doing really good let's see if we can find squeaker here let's see where's the squeaker oh my goodness you are chunky here look at this baby fat baby this has got the little freckled face I know you're checking on your babies you're a good mom. Here. I don't know if I can find squeaker like this, so let me pull the nest out and we'll take a look. Hey, mom. Okay, so now I've pulled the nest out and we're gonna take a look at these babies. They're very cute. This one's got some really unique coloring. Very pretty. She's got a solid one here. I'm not sure yet if it's black or if it's seal like her. Just gotta wait for the top coat to come in. But let's see, Squeaker. Where is Squeaker? There you are. There's Squeaker. So Squeaker, barely starting to open the eyes, looks like. But Squeaker is holding up just just fine, all on its own. So all nine of Nimue's babies are doing great. They're strong, they're big, they're fat, they're happy. And they're cute, cause let's face it, baby bunnies are adorable. So baby bunnies are doing great. These guys are growing more and more. It's actually time for me to weigh them again and see how close they are to harvesting because nobody bought them. And we've had a couple of like close calls of like someone interested and then decide, oh, well, you're too far away or, oh, my landlord said no. So it is what it is. And we'll have three bunnies destined for freezer camp. And uh, yeah, so I got to get weights on them soon. I'm still trying to figure out how to do that I have like a fish scale um, but I just need to figure out something that I can hang on it that will safely house them so still troubleshooting that um, but otherwise rabbits are doing great so thanks for joining me today with our little bunny updates 
and our random mystery rabbit and uh, so yeah we would definitely like you guys to weigh in on hey what are we gonna do with Ranger Rabbit are we gonna rehome him are we going to try and find a place for him here are we going to what I don't know that I would send him to freezer camp personally I mean that's kind of weird like hey you're a random rabbit that just showed up <laughs> but yeah, weigh in, let us know what you guys think about Ranger Rabbit, and if anybody has any idea what breed he is, let's go take one more look at him. You guys can see him at maybe a different angle. I just, whoop, trip. I just don't know what breed of rabbit he is. He's definitely not a Rex, because he has like standard rabbit fur. Hello, I know you're a friendly bunny. Got kind of shorter ears. That wide jaw, and then his fur has spots here in the back. So he's not a solid white rabbit. And his ears have some like gray and brown kind of mottled. So I mean, he's he's a good looking bun, and I'm fairly confident that it's a male. Especially, I mean, just look at those jowls on him. He's got those wide bucky jaws hey mister whoever you are oh there you go thank you for presenting so you can see the spotting there so any ideas or advice you guys have on ranger rabbit here would be greatly appreciated but as always this is your urban nerd with a goat herd and a random rabbit so you can grow where you're planted.